tea to drink, thankfully. Oh my gosh, so good. So at this point, take a look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks totally amazeballs. Um, what's gonna happen next, I wonder? Well, what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna clear all this away and scrape my board once again, and we're gonna start rolling out some pastry. Either a galette, maybe a hand pie, maybe a couple of both. So, um, let me clear all this away and we'll see what's next. Back. I took a little break. I had some tea, I had some toast. I, uh, cleaned up a little bit. I, I'm doing my dishes as I go for a change instead of making a huge pile for later. And I allowed my pastry to firm up in the fridge. Um, during the break, I'm very happy to say that I found some butter that's not frozen in the fridge. Okay, so this is my handy dandy filler, remember this guy? And what I'm doing is I'm peeling at the butter. So, Okay, so, see that? And um, we're going to use this butter to laminate half of the pastry dough we made. So I decided I'm going to laminate half of it so we see how that's done. And then I'm going to use the other half like regular pastry dough and maybe make a couple of hand pies or galettes. I haven't quite decided exactly 100% what I'm doing. But in the meantime, for this, I probably want about a maybe about a quarter cup to a half cup's worth of peeled butter here and we're going to use this like I said to laminate the pastry. What's laminating pastry you ask? Well that's when we roll out the pastry, we add butter to it, fold it over, fold it over and roll it out again and this is what gives us those light flaky layers. So we're going to I've never done this at home. Um, I've actually only really seen it done, so I know how it's done, but I've never really done this accurate, um, you know, myself. So, uh, you know, now's the time. Let's do it. All right, here I am. I'm going to start here with the pastry dough. Um, this is half of the dough, and I have covered it with APF, that's all purpose flour. And I have a rolling pin, but I'm actually going to use my dowel. I kind of like using this a little bit better. It gives me a little bit more control. Um, but for right now, we're going to use the dowel. And so if you can see what I'm doing is I'm kind of um, kneading this. This has been in the fridge for a while, and it was in the freezer for a while before that. And it kind of became all one thing, which is great. But then it was a little bit firm, so I need it. To start rolling. Um, a little bit of flour. Roll that bad boy out. Now we are going to roll it um, completely out uh, with the dowel here because I have the handy dandy as you see it um, piece for my KitchenAid, which is a pasta roller but can also be used for this purpose, which is kind of awesome. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw my butter here. This is the butter that I shaved. And I'm going to just put this all on the pastry. Okay, now I'm going to roll this up. Yeah, this is really nice and pliable now, you see that? Okay. And let's roll out again. Okay, so now I'm going to see if I can get that bad boy in there. It doesn't look like I can, so I'm going to have to roll a little bit more. Let me see what I can do. I haven't done this before using this piece of equipment, so, you know, trial and error of the game at the moment. So let's see what happens now. Okay, game on. <laughs> it was upside down. I'm lame. So I gotta make sure it's in there all the way. And I tighten it really good. 
Um, and now, it's my belief that this will work better. Ah, look at that. That makes it happy. As you can see, you know, I can use the technology I have to do this, but it wasn't really that much harder doing it out by hand, I don't think. Um, in the future, I don't know if I would necessarily dirty this up for this purpose. And then I'm going to let it rest. That's right, I'm going to let it rest a little while after that, and then I'll use this for the pastry, and then, or rather the Danish, and then we'll use the other one for the pastry. Um, thanks for watching my epic fail with KitchenAid. <laughs> Pro tips from Clarity! Yeah, use a freaking dowel, man. <laughs> so, I modified, you know, what I was doing, because obviously it wasn't working. First thing I did was I, um, got this out of the cupboard. Um, very finely sifted um, spelt flour. And it's perfect for things like this, for rolling. It's also really good for gravies and whatnot. And that's all I'm going to do is two times on this. I think it has enough butter in it. I feel like if I add any more, it might just get too upset and not want to play with me. This is going to be the last rolling of this specific piece of pastry. And what I'm going to do is just roll it up. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let this rest a minute. We just, you know, put it through a lot. We added more butter. I added more wonder to it, and um, I'm gonna just add that on there. <laughs> yeah, you know you like that, baby. Ooh, yeah. Sorry, I digress. All right. So anyway, um, at this point, I'm going to. Um, roll this into a piece like I did this one, right? And I'm going to let it rest for a while. So I'm going to put it in the fridge, not in the freezer this time, just in the fridge, and let it rest and let it kind of collect itself, you know. Sometimes you just got to let things and people rest. And here we are. Yep. Wrap those bad boys up. And... Good. Okie dokie, smoky. So, my laminated pastry is going back into the fridge while I deal with the unlaminated pastry to make some um, ham pies and galettes and whatnot. Say bye. Hold on. Bye bye. That didn't work. So one of the things that laminating process did to the pastry was it made it really super smooth and really supple. And I almost want to do that with this now because this is just like hard pastry, right, that uh, we're going to do other stuff with. So um, the difference is the stuff that I laminated, it is very smooth and supple. <sighs> don't ask me where this is coming from. I don't know. Um, <laughs> But uh, this is going to act more like a crust. It's still going to be flaky, um, like a crust should be, but it's not going to be like that tender flaky type of situation that you have like in croissants and Danish. So we're going to go ahead and use this other half of our pastry dough and roll this out to make um, some, I'm thinking maybe a couple of galettes and a couple of hand pies. So um, yeah, let's do that.